Yo, what's going on? And welcome back to some TFT, Team Fight Tactics, whatever. I, I, I like to call it TFT. I think everyone likes to refer to it as that. So I've been having an interesting day with this game. I feel like I have either gotten worse or the people I'm playing with are a lot better because I am unable to really win. I did pretty good in the last match. I got second. But the other guy just kind of like rolled me. I don't I don't know how I was supposed to beat him. I feel like um, my strategy has changed a little bit to where I just build units in the beginning that are kind of just there to survive. And then I try and build elementalists for the late game. And that's kind of been working, kind of not been working. So I don't know what I need to change up about my tactics. Uh, I would love one of these bows. Thank you. So yeah, um, I don't know. I need to combine something. Like obviously elementalists come really easily with uh, glacials, which I've been doing. And elementalists have brand, which he seemed pretty crazy. But I don't know, like I don't always have good items for brand. So I just kind of throw everything onto him and hope that it works out. But I have seen some other stuff like people stacking lockets. I actually don't even know what the build path for lockets is. Let me pull it up on the other monitor real quick. I know it's, it's temporarily frozen, but I need to find it. Okay, on my other monitor now, I should be able to find it. Where's lock it at? Lock it right there. Needlessly large rod chain vest. So if we want to do that, we can. We're sticking with strategy cell. Um, wild is definitely good for the very, very early game. Nidalee Warwick. Seems to be very powerful and easy buff to get. Mm, gunslingers seems like kind of a trap because gunslingers, unless you only use them for the very beginning, they kind of bait you into keeping them. While I feel like wild doesn't really bait you as much, you kind of know you're not sticking with wild probably. Although a end game wild comp with like Gnar Seems really good. Is that three Warwicks? Hell yeah. So out of these, Mordekaiser really sucks. Like, he's bad. Cassadin's okay. And since we don't have any duplicates, we're just gonna pick up Cassadin. Um, I kinda don't really want Vayne. Cause I keep getting baited by Vayne as well. And she doesn't seem that great. Like, she's okay. But unless you have the right items on her, like a Gwinsu's and uh, Rapid Fire. I need to go for Rapid Fire's more. I get, um, cause Rapid Fire's takes two bows. And lots of times I find myself in a situation where I'm like, I don't have two bows and I really need items. Otherwise I'm gonna start losing a whole bunch. So I just like build a random item with my bow because the bow items tend to be the best. And then all of a sudden I don't have two bows to build a rapid fire. So I kind of want to try and live until I can get a second bow, which may or may not happen. We do have two demons here, but we don't have enough room on our team to run two demons. What if we sell a Kha'Zix, get the two demons, and then we just kind of sit here and after two rounds we'll have, because you get two XP a round, after two rounds hopefully we'll have enough. Oh my gosh, that level two Nidalee is eating me. Please. Okay. Alright, now it's going to become a problem. I don't think my level one Nidalee can beat a level two Nidalee. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem like a very close fight. So now what we can do though, since we lost a match, but not that badly, we can try and sack a little bit and get into last place. So we hopefully get a bow. 
but I mean that's not the best strategy in the world either. We do have, we're still at three units. I don't really want to buy XP right now. I kind of don't like buying level four because I feel like my strategy has been get to uh, get to ten gold at like after two three. So the I want the interest for two four which you can see the stage up here in the top. And if you buy level four, then I don't think that is possible. Oh, that Kha'Zix did not do any damage. Okay, so now we are level four. So we could put in Elise and Varus. And maybe uh, I need to go back to what one of my strategies along my path of advancing was, which is go for demons and just use Varus as your damage dealer because Varus seems very good. So now we got Varus. Um, unfortunately, we don't have Vayne, so we don't have Ranger buff. And I'm not gonna buy any of this because like I said, 10 gold. Also, I'm not too interested in any of these. We could get Kha'Zix. Actually, we'll pick up the Kha'Zix and hold on to him temporarily. We'll probably sell the Kassadin now that I think about it. But if you don't know, when you win a round, you get one gold when you win against another player. So you can potentially get that gold and we can see if it looks like we're gonna win or not if I need to sell this cast in. I actually have no clue. I think we're gonna win? Yeah, that Varus was pretty big. I feel like demon is really strong, so maybe I need to try like a demon elementalist comp. The problem is, is the demons don't have any tanks. And you were, and now we somehow made it into second, even though we lost the first round and I said we were gonna sack. So where are our bows at? We got Elise and we got Cassidy. Both of them are not big units, like it's a one gold and a two gold, and both of them got picked up. But I was hoping that they wouldn't get picked up because they weren't high target units for people. Unfortunately, what we're left with is kind of potato. If I can get this giant's belt, I'll be happy. Actually, no, I'm grabbing this uh, BF sword. I would like the BF sword. I, I can't remember if we have a tier or not. Which one is my field? I don't know how you tell which one your field is. We're in the top middle. We do have a tier which is good. Um, unfortunately, we're probably gonna need to sell this Lissandra because we don't want the BF sword on her. And now we could get a Shoujin going. The question is, is I don't really want Shoujin on Varus. So I think I'll put it on Nidalee. Because uh, what I found with Varus and Tristana is if they stack up their mana too quickly, they tend to just like, like their special stops them from auto attacking. Oh my gosh, this guy absolutely obliterated me. At least initially. The spiderlings are here. Oh, that stun is gonna be massive. Okay, we'll sell the cast then. So we are getting, like we do have a lot more income than this guy and we're not, really falling behind too badly. This guy that we just lost to actually has one less health than us. So it's not like we're dying. See, this is this is kind of bad, but we could get more demons. I shall show them what it is to fall. How close are we to a level? Not very close. So let's do that. So now we got our Nidalee in the back with the Shoujin. Um, we're still looking for rapid fire because if we get to late game, kind of like the units that seem the best are a ranged unit that can deal a whole lot of damage. See, this guy put Shojin on his Varus. But like, so Draven probably fits that build pretty well. Uh, Brand fits it. I don't know if Aurelian fits it, but pretty much all of those, you want a rapid fire on them. 
And this Nidalee actually didn't get to use her ability because uh, she was getting hit by a demon the entire time. And the demon buff, if you don't know, uh, attacks from demons have a chance to burn all of an enemy's mana and deal that much true damage. So you get rid of their mana, kind of like how Cassidin hits them a whole bunch, gets rid of their mana, but he shields himself when he does that. Uh, they then instead take true damage equal to the amount of mana that they lost. So it can be very powerful. Um, I'm trying to decide what we're going to want to put in next. I can't buy that Poppy. I could buy the Shen. Put in Shen next. It's going to be two rounds until we level up. But we are kind of like hoping for Lissandra's. I know I sold that Lissandra before but we want Lissandra's cannons and then brands and anivias for our elementalist there's a bf sword we're still looking for a second um bow oh my gosh that thing fully healed no second bow yet hmm we could just put the bow on Nidalee as well, because I'm probably going to sell Nidalee. Which is why I put the Shoujin on her initially. Because I plan to sell her and then redistribute the items, but she right now is the strongest unit we have. Pike's also pretty good. I wish I could take the Shoujin off of Nidalee without selling her. Uh, how do we want to do this? Probably lay out like this again, or like this. That's how we were before. After this round, we could probably put in Pike, which means we probably don't need the Shens. So I'm thinking we're going to sell both of the Shens and the Elise to get to 40 gold before this round ends. Let's see how it's going. Ouch, that hurts so much. All right, let's start selling here because we are going to lose. Nothing I can do about that. We could also build, build a PD, which PD is bow and chain vest. And that tends to be really good against assassins. We could get a Kha'Zix right here as well. Do we just go Kha'Zix instead of Pike? I think we might go Kha'Zix instead of Pike. Build up some more Warwicks. Uh, so... What I'm looking at here is if we're about to win, I can sell the Pike and get us to 49 and then the win will get us to 50. Is this the same guy we just got smashed by? No, it is not. I'm hoping for a win. And you can see all these purple effects are the the mana burn. I believe in you, team. The mana burn doesn't really work on Vayne too well. Not gonna lie. Alright, we did it. So we're at five gold or fifty gold already, so we're making an extra five a turn. There's that pike that we just sold. <laughs> So now we can start doing other stuff though. Like we can re-roll and we can look for other units. Um, as far as demons go, I kind of like these two as my demons. Um, there's another Warwick. And here's a Lissandra, so we can start on that. And I'd say this is going pretty well at the moment. Um, our team is decent, but I don't think it's going to be able to beat everyone. I think. This guy's probably going to beat us. Although it did just take out the Morgana. The Morgana's not really that valuable. But the Kassadin is really messing up my Warwick. Oh, that Lulu ultimate hurts so much. Okay, we just got crushed Annihilate. But this guy, you can see, he's all in. He spent all of his money. He's got no income. So... If... 
Where is this guy? This guy's doing good. Why would you go all in that early? I don't understand. Kind of seems like a losing strategy. But we are a second pick here. Eyeing up this Draven. If we get that Draven, that is the best thing possible. He's going for it? Please no. Leave me the Draven. Yes! Okay, so we get a free rapid fire Draven here, which is pretty crazy. Because we already have a bow sitting, and this Draven has a bow on him. So I think this is what we need. We can uh, lose Kha'Zix for now, or at least put him on the bench. And now we're looking for Dravens, obviously. Level 2 rapid fire Draven is amazing. And then on top of that, we're looking for Gwinsu's for him. And we actually have BF Sword as well already. So put this in. I didn't realize... Um, I didn't realize that Aatrox was a demon. But give me that rapid fire. Give me that Bloodthirster. This Draven is a beefy boy. Do we want this Aatrox? We kind of need tanks. And if we could instead make Draven a Blade Master, that would be pretty cool. Oh my god, Draven. Don't die, Draven. I need you, Draven. I need you, Draven. Kill them all. Oh, you're gonna die, but you did good. At least for a while there. It was a good effort. We need more synergies around Draven here. Three Lucians, are you kidding me? I guess no one's taking Lucian. Okay, level three Morgana. I should have taken the Aatrox, I'm thinking. We just need we need something to sit in front of all of our units. Another one of you. So we got level twos except for Draven here. The Spear of Shojin doesn't seem that good on Draven. Not gonna lie. But maybe it is. Maybe I should just sell the Nidalee and put it on Draven. But you can see how good this rapid fire is. Just makes it so his attacks can't be dodged and his attack range is doubled. So he just sits back here and throws all of his axes. So I feel like we are in a very good spot as long as we can get some more Dravens. Now a lot of people like to go Draven because he is known for being very strong. So it might be tough to get more Dravens. But what we need right now is we need a front line for Draven that can bring CC to the table. Working on this level three Warwick is also a good start. I feel like if we go like this, cause the wolves like to jump behind you. Um, we could also get levels. What's the hotkey? F to buy levels. Could put in a second Warwick. We're looking for one more Warwick at the moment. Oh my gosh, Warwick is dying so quickly. So I think Morgana's ultimate right there, like she shackled all of the wolves and it mana burned all of them, so it looked really crazy. I think that's what that was. Okay, now we need to reset though. I hate that that wave always messes up how your units are lined up. Uh, we don't want any of this nonsense. We need cannons. There's our Warwick. So that's good. Another Morgana. We could go Ares because we're probably going to sell uh, this Nidalee and Ari would keep the wild buff going for us. Draven's doing a lot of good work, but we do need to level him up because his damage isn't quite there yet. Good thing this Nidalee is actually pretty tanky. If she gets her special off, then she tends to do a lot of tanking. 
here. What are we looking at? Another level 2 Morgana. We could level up. Hmm. Lissandra. It's another Ari. I don't think the Aries are actually going to pan out for us. What is Draven? He's a Blade Master and an Imperial. So we need more Blade Masters. So we really should have gotten that Aatrox, is what I'm seeing here. What? That crit though. Okay, we might we need a PD on um we need a PD on Draven just straight up. If this guy's playing Assassins and he's near the top, uh he's gonna be in for a while. So we need a PD to stop him from critting Draven. Which means we need another bow. We have the chain vest already. Could level up right now, which is what I think I'm gonna do. Put an Ari in here. We need frontline. Where's all the frontline at? Could also get uh, Gangplank, cause he's a blade master. Put Gangplank on the side here. We're still looking for a lot of stuff. We haven't seen another Draven yet. Ooh, this guy's level 3 Nidalee. And a level 2 Aurelian Soul. Holy potatoes in a waffle factory. No, my Nidalee didn't get her ability off. That hurts. Come on, Draven. I believe in you. Oh, that Aurelian Soul. What is this guy? He does not take damage. Oh my god. Okay, this is not going well. We need upgrades now. But he's also all in. So... Alright, what are we looking at for bows? Bow, 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 bow. Am I blind? I don't see any bows. They really... There's really not a single bow. We were first pick. We could have gotten a bow. We needed a bow so badly for Draven. Dang. Well, we got Brand. Brand's not bad. We'll sell our Nidalee right now. Give Shojin to Brand. Um, put in Kennen and Lissandra. Give us Elementalist. Question is, is who we're going to take out to do all this nonsense? Alright, easy right there. What does this give? Sorcerer? Is Brand already a sorcerer? No, he is not. What does this give? A knight? Yeah, make him into a sorcerer so he gets more stuff. Now, how do we get Lissandra into this team? I think I, we just have to do it because it's going to give us a golem. And we need the golem. Now, I'm going to roll right now because... Oh, come on. Get rid of the Aries. Jogas good. Okay, we are just getting annihilated. We need stronger units in here. That is scary. I don't like that. How are we gonna do this? I do not know. I feel like I have misplayed. I had such a good start, but like, like I haven't hit any more Dravens. I need more Dravens. Where are they at? But if we can move around our team, we don't necessarily need a Varus. Um, shoot, I had an idea. Oh, Alessandra well, needs to go over here. Can also use you. I feel like our team got really messed up now. We don't need Kha'Zix. Unimportant. Another Varus. Oh my gosh. This is what we need the PD for. 
They just crit me so hard. I might just lose right here. Ooh, we got one HP. All right, well, we're definitely gonna lose. I don't know. I don't know how to transition out of this. If I can't get any Dravids, then it's just over. That was a cannon. I'm so dumb. I'm rolling too quickly. I needed that cannon. Mm, Draven. Please show me more Dravens. So many Sejuani's. Nars. But. Oh, this is a creep round, anyways. Not that bad. Could be worse. Can we sell this Lissandra just to give us more gold? We got a bow. Come on. Give him the PD. Alright. Um, so Nara needs to go in here instead of Cho. The Elementalist should spawn over here. Or the Golem or whatever it's called. Another brand. I feel like we just need another Draven. I think we just lose right here. I'm not finding what we need. The cannon could have helped. This guy might kill us? Let's find out. Ow! That Aurelian soul. You're gonna have to heal up, Draven. Oh no. Dang it! So unfair. Gosh. I felt like I was doing good, but where were the other Dravens? No one else had a Draven in the entire game. We can look. Like, this guy didn't have a Draven. No Dravens. That's me. No Dravens, no Dravens, no Dravens, no Dravens, no Dravens. Where were all the Dravens? Are you kidding me, man? Dang it. That's so unfortunate. Let's get back over to the capture screen. It's only 27 minutes, but I guess that's got to do it. That's going to be a bad one. Sixth place finish. But I think I'm just going to do a few in a row right now because I'm feeling it. And hopefully we can learn along the way. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time.